Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge. So this is the third part of the five-part video tutorial series on how to create a very simple application that enables the creation, read, update, and delete of certain records from our database. So again, for this particular project, we're focusing on the users. And from the second video, we have already implemented the form, form.php, and we have already added this particular form with the ID as non-editable, the name, the email, and of course the save button. So in this particular tutorial guys, in this particular video, we're going to continue working on with the form.php file and uh, include or integrate the user class that we have created from the previous videos. So let's go back to our code editor and start working with our form.php file. So in this video, we're going to add the logic for handling if the user wants to add records or want to add users to our database. And also, we're going to add the logic handling the edit, uh, editing of certain records from our database. So I think we're going to start with the post variable. So in this particular uh, logic, we're going to handle the save or saving of users to our database. So we have here the button name as btn save. So we're just going to check if that particular name of the variable is set in our um, post variable. So if is set the post and of course the name of our button. Okay. And open and close parentheses so it just means that if the user submitted the form with our button btn save then process this logic inside for adding the user to our database but first let's just uh, change this type or button type into submit instead of button okay to ensure that the form will be submitted if the user clicks on this particular button so let's go back to this logic and try to set up the uh, handling of inserting records to our database so first let's just get the value of our name so we're gonna use the strip tags for that and of course the uh, name of our uh, input variable or I mean input uh, element so this is for the name and of course we need one for our email so let's just copy and paste the same line and just change this into email okay and try to align this and of course as always we need to try or we need to add try and catch um, logic also or lines just to make sure that our um, software or our project will exit normally okay and if id is not equal to null then um, we need to make sure that we're going to update the user but first i think we need to set up or we need to add a new object of our user class that we have defined in our previous tutorials so before we're going to use the user class we're going to require it first so require ones and then of course the classes and user that php so that file contains our user class and let's create the object of our user so object user equals new user okay and then we can just use this particular object here in our logic down below so next again if the id is not equal to null then we need to make sure to update the user okay object user and then update and this of course this particular method or function we have already defined it in our user.php so update and it takes three parameters the name email and id which we're going to supply it here name 
email and of course the id for that particular user and after that we're going to redirect object user redirect to um, index.php index.php and let's just set the query variable update or updated so as you can see also the redirect function we already uh, defined it here in our user.php uh, class so function redirect and if the id is not equal to null or if the id is null then we need to insert a new user so object if object 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 user insert and of course the insert function takes into parameters which is the email and the name and after that we're just going to redirect the page into the index.php and update this query variable into inserted okay and otherwise we need to redirect to index.php and say that there was an error during the processing of inserting the user to the database and of course we need also to display it's if something happens to our logic above so get message okay and that's it for our uh, adding the user to our database so again we also need to work on with the editing of user okay so here you need to check if the user or id edit id of the user if the edit id query variable is set we need to do something and set the values here in our form so as you can see now that the values here in our form for example the name so it's kind of empty for now so let's make sure to add values to this if the edit id is set so first thing that we're going to need is to get the id so get and the edit id and we're going to define a statement here statement and of course using our object user we're going to run a query again this particular function we have already defined it in our user that page uh, user that page file under the user class so this particular function takes in a or an uh, a, a SQL statement so select all from the table name which is the crude users where id equals the id that we're going to supply then after this line we need to execute the statement by using the execute function and array array for our um, ID okay and we need to get the user raw user equals stmt and then fetch and pdo fetch associative array okay there you go and then we need to end the statement here else we're just going to set the id into null and of course the uh, row user to null as well and 
by now we can set the values from or we can set the values to our form if the edit id is um, present or is set so here at the form you need to make sure that the form is populated with the um, correct values so input type text with our name id this is for the input variable or input uh, element id so in here we need to display of course the id of our user so print and then raw user and then we're just going to get the id and the same thing with the others so let's check for now values and instead of id we're going to use name for this and also this we're going to use the email um, email value okay so i think that's pretty much it for this particular form so in the next video we're going to continue working on with this particular project and also this index.php file to actually display all the users that we have inserted to our database so thank you for watching and if you're new here in, new, in our channel please consider subscribing and press the notification bell to get updated whenever we have a new upload thanks